Hi, Jordan. Congratulations. Uh, can you just uh, maybe take me inside the emotions in that locker room? Uh, I know you've been here long enough to know uh, what a division title uh, means to this fan base. What does it mean to, to you guys inside that room? Man, it's hard to explain, man. The guys work extremely hard throughout the offseason, um, during the season, and, and, and to get to this point, we had an opportunity to come out here and, and clinch the AFC East, man. It's kind of indescribable. Uh, like I said, the guys work extremely hard. We're a family. Um, and it's been, I think I was four years old the last time the Bills won the AFC East. So, um, huge win for our program, huge win for our city. And then we're excited to continue to, to, to keep building and move forward. This has been part of something larger than this season. Like I said, you've been here as, as you've built this and then we're able to take advantage of some of the dynamics in the division, how things change a little bit uh, in New England in particular. The question was, would you be ready to walk through the door, that window of opportunity? And it's clear you guys will. And can you kind of frame it maybe just as part of uh, what's happening on a larger scale? Hey, just as far as our team and the direction that we're going? Yeah, and the organization, right. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, we've been building this since the stock came in 2017. Had a, had a tough, made it to the playoffs 2017, lost to Jacksonville. Um, had a tough second year around last year, making it to the playoffs again. So, you know, we, this team is, it, it's a mature football team. We've been in a lot of situations. We understand how to, you know, handle handle adversity um, throughout a season and, and throughout a football game. You know, there's, there's steps and flows of, of the season and, and a game that you never see guys get too high, never see guys get too low. And this is a real family. Um, you know, ain't nobody pointing their fingers when mistakes happen. We just move on to the next play and, um, and continue to and continue to pull each other up. Jordan, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jordan, congratulations, man. Happy for you guys. Um, just first, the message that we heard from a lot of you guys even before this division title was clinched was this is only step one. So first, if you could just speak to that, and then second to the lockdown effort you guys had tonight on the field defensively. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, one of the goals is to win the AFC East, but that's not the ultimate goal. So, um, you know, we're going to enjoy this and, and, and enjoy this moment with our guys on the flight home and with our families. And then, you know, once that 24-hour rule comes into effect, basically 24 hours after the game, move on. We got, we got a lot of football left to be played. Um, and like I said, this is our ultimate goal. Obviously, our ultimate goal is in the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, we got a Monday night game against New England next week to, to continue our step forward in that direction. And then just quick, it just looked like you guys were a step ahead on defense all night tonight. What? What kind of had you guys playing downhill and so confidently? It almost was like you guys knew what they were running. Yeah, our coaches put, up, put together a great game plan. Uh, you know, throughout the week, we all felt confident in, in our assignments and what we were doing and, and how, how Denver was going to try to attack us. Um, and, and, and I thought we handled our play action game you know, early on. They had a couple of runs, but we were able to, we were able to handle that and then shut that down. And, um, you know, obviously, then they were playing from behind towards the end of the game. And, we were able to get off the field, had some key takeaways, Jerry's with a touchdown. Yeah, uh, just some big plays that we're able to change that game around. Congrats, man. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Jordan, uh, congratulations. I appreciate it, Vic. Um, Jordan, the, just the process. I wanted to ask you about it feels like this win or uh, this division championship. I know it's one rung on the ladder, as you just discussed, but it feels like it's in line with something you know you've been a part of now for four seasons. Sean McDermott preached from the minute he got here. The process, the process, the process. Deion Dawkins was talking uh, Thursday saying, you know, in and out uh, as far as believing it because, you know, the, the 18 season and so forth. Give me your handle on the belief in that and how much that plays into what happened today, or this season. Yeah, when Sean came in, uh, you know, there was a different culture that he was trying to build in Buffalo. And, you know, it took the right group of guys to continue to build that culture and to continue to understand the expectations that, you know, coach has for us. And, uh, you know, we understand the expectations, you know, that he has for us. And so, you know, it's uh, it's just, like I said, it's been building, man. And we have 
made it to the playoffs in 2017, ended up losing. We were able to learn from that. You know, wasn't very good in 2018. You know, same thing in 20, 2019. You know, that's one play away from winning, you know, winning the playoff game. And, you know, I, I think just, you know, those experiences that we went through, you know, the hardships that we've gone through, it's all led up to this moment right here for us to be able to, to win the AFC East. And, you know, like guys like Mike and myself and Trey Mason have been here for four years. Uh, you know, just continue to build that and then adding the guys that, that, that they brought in, man. It feels really good, man. It feels like a long time in the making, but it's, it's been worth it. It's been, it's been worth it. Fair to say the process works? <laughs> yes, fair to say the process <laughs> definitely works. Thank you. Yeah. Jay Poirier, what's good? Mookie Hawkins, welcome what's up? to First and 80. What's good, Congrats. Mookie? Congratulations, man. You know, appreciate it, bro. Um, all this week, you know, what was the mindset? It seemed like you guys were really locked in this week to go ahead and just, you know, get this done. We knew this was on the bucket list first and foremost. What was the mindset going into this day matchup? Aggressive. Stay aggressive, play aggressive, you know, and that, that rest will take care of itself. That's how, that's how we did. Um, offense, defense, and special teams are playing aggressive all, all game long. Find ways to create takeaways, um, you know, and, and you know, scored on defense with the shoot. That's two weeks in a row, so we're going to continue to keep that going. Absolutely. And, you know, just care to talk about Borjo's punt. How did that bolster you guys when he flipped that field position in, in, in that front of the game? Yeah, Bojo just got one of the biggest legs in the, in the NFL, so it's not really surprising, but definitely when you see that ball in the air and it's traveling 60 yards, 70 yards, you know, definitely gets you motivated to, to go out there and get a stop. Absolutely. And, man, from your days at Cleveland going through what you've gone through to be a part of this rebuild to finally be, you know, on the top of the ASC, how refreshing is it, man, personally for you? It's all been worth it, man. Everything that we've gone through, it's all, it's all been worth it for this moment right here. All right, man. Appreciate it, man. Still Thanks, ways to go. Good luck. Yes, sir. Hey, Jordan, Dan Tates in Rochester. Congrats. Um, Appreciate it. The national media, I know you guys don't want to talk about it, but what, what does a win like this do for you guys and, and the, the organization that hasn't had this in 25 years? What does it do? What does this win mean? It just continues to build our confidence. You know, we, we know we're a good football team. Um, like I was saying earlier, this, you know, this isn't our ultimate goal to win the AFC East, you know, obviously the ultimate goal to win the Super Bowl. So, you know, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we've got two, two regular season games left, a primetime game on Monday night next week. Um, you know, we're going to enjoy this victory, but, you know, like I said earlier, 24-hour rule, we're going to be ready for the Patriots on whatever day they have us coming back. Congrats. Thank you.